Well, howdy friends. It's another day, another time, another chance to work on the bus. And you're probably thinking, what? There's more to be done? Yes, there's so much work to be done on the bus and we have so little time to get it done. So, and in fact, I'm thinking in my head, like how in the world am I gonna get all this done by the time I need to start using it? And that's a great question. I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done, but that's okay. So today, I think what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to finish up doing the insulation that we can do, which means finishing all the ceiling stuff. Um, we're gonna put some um, spray in foam in spots where it's hard to get the actual push in foam in. Um, so that's gonna get done today. Um, we can't do all the lower insulation stuff yet because we need to do, that's where we got to do some welding stuff still. I'm hoping that I can actually get into the top and pull the last little bit of the old insulation out and then be able to measure out and put in a huge chunk of insulation in there. So that'll be fully insulated in the front. Um, we're probably going to be doing some um, caulking all around the bus just to make sure there was a couple of leaks when it rained the other day and I was in the bus. Very, very, very minor considering what it had been doing before. The roof was basically perfectly fine. It was just a couple of creases that were close to the roof and actually over um, the main plug door that needs caulking. So we're going to do that. We're going to do caulking around the front of the bus. Um, and then hopefully we're going to get a game plan together, which it's in my head. Some of me thinks I'm just overthinking it and I kind of just want to dive in and do the project, but I need to delete the bar, the back two windows on either side. Um, so I'm, nah, I might just be brave and just start ripping things apart and then be forced to fix it because in two days it's going to start raining. What a great time to test out whether or not it's uh, waterproof or not. So, or water, whatever. Yeah. So got lots to do we're just gonna start diving in and working on it right away I think the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna drill a couple holes in the plates where we need to put the spray and foam and get that stuff uh, in there so we can start expanding out we're gonna open up the doors and everything so that I don't suffocate um, and then of course we still have electrical stuff that we got to be working on but quite frankly the electrical stuff is gonna be one that we're probably gonna continue to work on uh, so the bus is no more and we're having to drag it to you know the junkyard somewhere hopefully that's gonna be a long long time from now because we're putting a lot of work on this to try to make it as good as we possibly can so here we go all right so first order of business we are going to just like I did with this one we're gonna go ahead and shove some of this really nice insulation up into where these gaps are to create a block and then I'm gonna drill a couple of holes in here to go ahead and fill that in. The stuff that we're using is gonna be the great stuff, uh, window and door. And the reason for that is because it literally is just this thin little sheet metal. And I don't really want it expanding so much that it pops up the roof um, and create other, it creates other issues or pushes down on this. So, um, I'm gonna get a 14 piece here, which I think I've got some little pieces here that I can throw up there. So 14, um, another 14 and a 10, which I already had a piece up in here, so I'm gonna shove that one back in, do one right here. And then for this thing over here, this one's a little different. This one had a hole cut in it for a speaker. So I'm gonna try to put some insulation that's up in there so I don't have the great stuff falling through, but then we'll cover up this and that, and then we'll fill it all in. And then those sections will be done. I need to go through and cut some more sections for the outer um, side as far as putting stuff in and those will be uh, the bigger sections we'll cut that out and then probably gonna figure out a way to dive in uh, to get there's insulation all up above that air AC unit so what we need to do is pull it I think out and down that way and that's probably gonna happen by taking the control panel out drop that down pull it this way and then we'll figure out how to get this insulation cut up and then slid back up and in there so that's the game plan we're gonna start with that today get that stuff finished once that's done um, then literally all I have to do is kind of cut where the insulation is gonna go for all these bottoms lower sections
So now that we've made a mess of the inside of the bus. Gross. I'm um, gonna work on cutting some more to fill in the last little bit down these rows. And once that's done, then the ceiling will be finished. And then really we only have the lower sections, the back wall, and then the front. So it's coming along. Uh, I don't know if you saw or not, but uh, you gotta watch where you're standing because uh, I definitely got some of this stuff caught in my beard a little bit and uh, ran inside real quick and had to cut it off because I was trying to get it out before it settled or whatever. So anyway, uh, stuff is sticky. Um, so be careful if you're doing this and I would suggest not walking underneath of it and paying attention to where it's dripping from. I, I put the tape on there. It was not to make sure it never came out. It literally was to try to get it to where it would expand to everywhere else underneath that plate instead of just coming where the path of least resistance was. So unfortunately I should have checked to see how much duct tape I had left before I did that whole project or before I did this and I ended up running out. So I ended up using electrical tape, which the electrical tape does not stick as well as the duct tape does. So once everything is settled and dry, that's when I'll take the tape off. I'm not gonna leave it on there. It's just there to try to make sure that the foam expands back into the empty spaces. So let's get to we'll measure out a couple more pieces to figure out what we need as far as sections. I believe these are 14 wide by 31. Um, it looks like we need one, two, three, four, five, six, six more of them. So we'll cut those out and then the ceiling, ceiling's done. So super exciting, got stuff up there, um, cut the extra little pieces that we needed um, for right here. I'm gonna leave this right now because I got lights coming in that I wanna be able to get there. But then we'll put a strip all across back here, insulate this area, and we gotta do the back down this way. And then <clears throat> outside of that, I gotta figure out a way to get this stuff out and what I'm thinking right now is the easiest might be to take this section off and then pull it down and then out this way and then go in reverse to be able to put the black stuff up in there. That's what I'm thinking at least. The only other option would be to try to slide it all over and then down this way and I'm scared that it's gonna rip. But we'll get after it.
All right, so it is a real pain in the butt trying to get the insulation stuff from back behind here. So to not kill the momentum on this Monday, uh, put the light in, the light worked perfectly fine, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to do something that's gonna be another huge accomplishment. We're gonna take uh, the back windows out, those two out, and then I'm gonna move the one window over here, um, the emergency exit to the one that's shattered we're gonna take those two windows and frames out and then we're gonna cut the sheet metal and go ahead and glue and put that on. And then we gotta do the same thing over here on this side. So that's a that would be a huge thing if I can get that done um, or at least rocking and rolling. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that just to try to keep momentum flowing and uh, not get too discouraged when things aren't going on. Cause honestly like that stuff up there, it's not the biggest deal in the world. And it's something that I can constantly be working with because the bulkhead isn't gonna be done for a while. Um, but I need to for sure get that stuff done because once I get that done, I can cut more insulation, put it up, and we're closer to getting this thing rolling. <laughs> back convertible mode there are two empty huge holes now i'll say it does kind of blow my mind that these things did not leak more because quite frankly uh it was literally just a rubber gasket and then they just put a little lift a little bead right over the top of it and that was it so i mean some level that's cool uh, means that if these other ones ever have issues with leaking just putting a bead a caulk over top of it would be good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the broken window out and put the emergency exit window in over there. Um, well, maybe I should wait. Uh, I just want to make sure that I don't break it uh, while we're moving things around or whatever. So need to grab the sheet metal, measure, take our measurements where things need to go, how big it needs to be, and then we'll measure that up, cut it up. Um, need to clean up the outside of it so that it adheres well. And then we'll probably, we might do some pre-drilling possibly, but I got some uh, liquid nail stuff that's supposed to caulk it and then also hold it in place so I can get it pressed in there and then go ahead and, um, you know, do some pop rivets as well. So this is pretty, pretty easy. Well, I shouldn't say that yet. Pretty excited about how simple that was to take them out. We'll see how easy it is to put them back. All right, so here's the hole we gotta fill in. Got this all, uh, just took the wire wheel off on the drill there and went through and cleaned everything up. <clears throat> so should be good to go. What we'll do is, I already measured this. This is uh, 43 and a quarter by 65 inches. That comes all the way over to this lip, uh, which I wanna kinda button it up right up against here. Um, so it'll come down and then it should follow the exact spot of where all this black is. There'll be a little bit of overlap over here, which is okay, because I don't want to have, to, if I mess up where this curve is, I don't want to have it jutting out. So it'll come a little bit longer, but it'll basically just black out this entire spot. So now we got to come over here, measure it, cut it, and then, uh, yeah, we'll cut both of them. And then I'll probably go on the other side of the bus, pull those windows out, and then that way we can set them up, glue them, and tack them at the same time. There's one, and uh, I never thought that learning how to cut in preschool was really gonna help me rise up to the challenge of being an adult. But holy cow, 
cutting that stuff with those scissors it's gonna give me massive forearms unfortunately I only have one more to do so as far as the large forearms thing I'll leave those to somebody else but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other one get the other windows out on the other side clean that side up and then we'll start hanging these my GoPro batteries keep dying all right so we got the second one cut out we got the second set of windows out I am cutting the corners so it kind of matches the sides and then once the corners are cut we're gonna go ahead and set up the liquid nails and I might have Abby come out and help me just make sure that it's placed right because I got to put it on and then I'm gonna have to get on the ladder and start drilling some holes to do uh, some pop rivets yeah we'll get it so this is how I'm making my corners I went over to the bus and uh, did a couple of takes or whatever but figured out that to make this nice little template line it up and then we just draw our half circle on here and now we got to do is cut her out and then this corner will match how the rest of the bus looks can you not film me no did you trace the curves yep from the window just got done explaining my really cool uh template, template? that i made very nice i even starred it so i knew which one it was because i screwed this one up gotta love templates mom you better come in ah the inspector showed up so mom mom better make sure i did it right mommy wow. this is the window he's gonna put on the broken one nice and that's the next one that's gonna come out but i'm gonna get those in first before i do that Sit. Cool, there's flowers it's funny how like the bus totally hasn't looked any different up to this point and how ripping the windows out all of a sudden looks like it's in complete shambles and it's a waste of a project just by pulling the windows out even though the inside of it has looked that bad or worse for a while hey mom they're gonna, but, i don't think it looks i don't know i feel like it looks like it's in progress well yeah it looks like it's in progress to me but it reminds me of like when we were tearing the trailer apart Hi, at mom, camp i'm in the bus and like when the outside of it still looks like the outside the whole time it's at least like oh yeah it's a house and then as soon as you bust a hole in the wall you're like oh wow that thing's a that's a complete wreck was it pretty indie, easy to get the windows out uh actually it was surprisingly too easy Whee! like i kid you not um just unscrewed those things popped them out well so you've got you see how there's screws all around the outside yeah all of them are about that long you just unscrew all of them and then you literally just pull. So oh, there's it came a out this way. Yeah, it comes out oh. this way. So like this is the this is what's in the inside. So when you screw it in, it pinches the metal right here. Yep. But this is literally just like a rubber fitting that's just pressed up against it, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, it was one of those like. Do you think water gets in there? Well, so that's why it's funny. So up here literally all they have is just Seal it. sealant that's comes to here and then the rest of it is just the rubber because assuming water's not coming up this right. way it's just gonna flow straight down so as long as you get it to the curve yeah. it'll just flow down so uh, honestly i'm kind of surprised that they haven't leaked any worse than they have yeah. um but yeah I mean, I saw people do it online. They're like, oh yeah, it's super easy to take out. Like, no, there's no, it's got to be more complicated. Everything else has been more complicated yeah. than that. There's no way that this one project is going to be like easy. And then I got stuck on the, trying to pull the insulation out above the AC unit because it's pressed so far up against the cone. I was just like, uh, I need to do something that makes me feel like I'm getting something done. I'm like, well... If I do this, it's going to be a big thing. It's going to be a big thing and I have to get it done before tonight because I'm not leaving it without windows overnight. Right. And I think it's supposed to rain in the next 2 days. So it's like, well, which is good because I would rather it rain and see if there's any and leaks. see if there's any leaks before I do the rest of it yeah. than to do it, get it all done at once and then it rain the first time and then not know. Right. 
Yes, maybe. No. So, this is essentially... Careful! I can hold a marker. Oh yeah, I mean, I feel like... That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Yeah, that versus doing two windows, it would not be that big of a difference. Right. It wouldn't be that big of a difference. This actually looks like it's still continuous on the bus. Yeah. And if I go to wrap it at some point in time down the future, you've got all the space on the back that'll yep. be the same. Instead of having any sort of ridges or bumps, it'll literally just be like a small little bump here. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, I think that's going to look really good, babe. Well, there's one side almost done. I got a couple more pop rivets. I'm probably gonna put on the front or on the top and then just try to make sure that's seated. We'll probably do a couple more on the bottom, but it's dinner time. And then uh, after I'm done with this side, I'm gonna jump over and do the other side and get that done tonight. And then we'll probably run a bead of caulk up and over and down, um, just like they had before on the other windows. I don't know if I'll have a chance to get the other window done today, but. Um, I definitely need to get the other side finished. So that's how I decided to delete the windows. Honestly, how do you think it looks? Good. Yeah, I do too. I'm super pumped. This looks actually a little bit better than I had envisioned it was going to. And I think as far as how things go down the road, um, it gives me peace of mind knowing that there's not really a whole lot of things that can do, like if the side of the bus gets ripped into or whatever that's going to get ripped into of course but it's not going to break like a window it's, you can't just bust through it or whatever i don't have to do anything on the inside in order to be able to fix it um if for some reason i need to do something i can do all the caulking up here i'm going to caulk the inside of it before we put the insulation in but i'm super pumped at how this side looks i think it flows with the vehicle a lot better and if we end up wrapping it some way down the future uh all of this can be one huge print instead of having a bunch of ripples and stuff on the windows. So super excited. We're going to go eat lunch or dinner and then we're going to do the other side. All right, folks, dinner's over and came back out, finished up that other side. It was the same as the other one, except I knew what I was doing this time because first time I did it was last time. And I got to say that uh, as far as how it turned out, yeah, that is sweet. Can barely even tell. Now granted, what I may end up doing, or at least I thought about doing it, I took measurements already, is doing 
rivets up the spine here in between where the two windows were and then I still need to caulk around the outside of it but yeah baby that looks awesome so the one thing that the guy I bought it from did tell me is that he said there is a protective film on this now you got to understand me I typically never remove this stuff I usually on the calculators and everything else leave it on there till it falls off but seeing as this this is a pretty big deal we're gonna go ahead and pull it off because uh, I'm sure you guys want to see it like that and then it won't look so nasty and like it's all scratched and scraped and everything else and granted there are some places that I messed up a little bit and I'm sure you might be able to tell but I'm not gonna tell you that can be for you to find out and for me to know but uh, I will say this was a big job that is now officially on off the list and yeah, which means we got other stuff we got to get going on but I am super super pumped that this worked out This is so much bigger than a calculator. Let's hear from my Texas Instruments friends. Ah, oh, that looks really good. Real, real good. So I'll come and clean up the rest of that. Show you how it looks. It'll be nice once we get the running lights on. Uh, and we'll be able to show her off on the outside. I don't know, I mean, we can always make it look more pretty, but I'm not really trying to make the outside look like a show truck. I am more of a function person, so if it happens to look good, awesome. It's not gonna make it look bad on purpose, but amazing. Sweet, well, I'll keep tearing this stuff off. All right, and there we go. Nice and shiny. Although I will say, the bummer about that is, now I made the rest of the bus look bad. Every time I do something to this thing, I make everything else look like it needs to be redone. But I will say, a lot of the white specks and stuff like that are on the windows because of painting the roof and I haven't gotten around to fixing or washing it yet. Mainly because I wasn't too worried about it. But now that it looks like that, I'll probably have to do that. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Uh, it was a good day to work on the bus. Good day to get a lot of it finished. Um, or at least a good chunk of it done. So, we'll uh, say goodnight for now. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. There's tons more left to do. I gotta finish now the insulation of the walls now that those are in. Uh, makes it a lot easier to be able to finish that part. So that electric stuff, always, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned and we will see you guys next time. See ya.